Hi everyone, this is Terry from Tidbits and Tinkerings, and today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Heart Balloons celebration card that I designed in Cricut Design Space. And what you see here on the table are all the pieces that are included in the Design Space file. And I have done a little bit of prep work as far as gluing some of the layers together on the pieces and putting my little foam squares on the back of the heart balloons. Um, let's see. This is the card we're going to be making. And I did make a few modifications to the file after putting together the first one. Uh, and it is a pop-up card. When you open it, you have a cake inside that is a pop-up and I've left the panels on the inside blank so you can add more embellishments and your sentiment here. Um, you'll notice, I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up, there is some debossing, there we go, on the front panel. The little stars are debossed and in the edited file, which is the one you'll be getting, um, I also did the little debossed stars on the inside. And um, I added the happy birthday sentiment to the front of my card that will be in the file. So if you don't want that, you can just hide it. And I do want to show you in design space really quick. Let me switch over. All right, all of these black stars are what is going to be debossed in the file. And if you don't have the debossing tool or you do not want the debossed stars, simply go over to your layer panel and you can hide them. I've grouped them so it's pretty straightforward just to hide the two groups of the stars and let's see what else did I want to show you here okay as far as the pop-up cake the first trial run I did I actually just had the layer that has the scallops on it which is supposed to be frosting I had those as a single piece for each one and just had a score line down the middle. I did not like the way that the card folded like that, so I decided to just slice them in half and we'll be gluing each piece onto each side of the cake. And let's see, um, the happy birthday sentiment and the little strings for your balloons. I used my foil quill in my um, older Explorer Air 2, but in the file they are set to draw, so you can use your pen, foil quill, whatever you want to do there. And let's go back over to the camera view. Okay, so let's see. The first thing you're going to want to do is put all of your little panels on your cake pieces here. I've done all of them except for this last one here. And they are perfectly sized so that they'll fit onto the corresponding little icing pieces. So we'll go ahead and finish up and do this last one here. And I am using Art Glitter Glue. That is my favorite liquid adhesive. And I will put links to all of the products I use here down in the description. So if you want to purchase through that, I do get a small commission. Doesn't cost you anything extra, just helps me stay stocked with supplies for doing all of my projects that I share. 
All right, so we've got that piece put together. And the only other thing I have done is your base layer here. I have folded it and applied the front panel. And I've also went ahead and folded this. This probably is the most difficult part of this card is getting the pop-ups to fold. Um, <clears throat> my best advice is cut it out on a cheap piece of paper first and work on getting the folds right and figure out the easiest way for you to fold it. Uh, there is no easy way, honestly. The only thing I can suggest is just work at it and hopefully you have an easier time of it than I did. That's why I actually did not record that part of the assembly because I struggled with it. After the first test card that I did, I did go back in and doubled up these score lines that are coming off of your cardstock on the inside. And it folded a little better, but it was still a bit of a struggle to get all of those folds just right. So we will go ahead and put this on the inside. And I'm gonna try this a different way than I did with that first card that I put together. So what we're gonna do, and hopefully it'll make it easier, is first let me give you a good view of these folds. So when you're putting yours together, you have a better idea of how to do it. It's, I mean, it's basically, you have your valley fold, which will line up with your fold on your card base. And then you have valley folds on each side of the cake layers, and then a mountain fold in the middle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just start with the middle of the card and try to see if this is gonna be any easier. So I'm just going to put my glue right along these cuts here. I'm not gonna go all the way out yet. I'm just going to put this on the middle. And you do wanna make sure you get glue pretty darn close to your folds there. All right, and try to get this lined up, which I usually struggle with. All right, so, so far that seems to be a little bit easier. And just make sure that all of that glue is making contact with that layer underneath. And then I'm going to give that a second to set before I fold this. <coughs> All right, so. All right, that actually seems to have made a huge difference as far as getting that centerpiece in there. And I'm not sure if it's just my preview of this video or not, but it's looking pretty washed out. I'm hoping it's not because I only cut enough to do the video one time. But anyway, all right, we have that down. So now we can just finish putting our glue here and sticking the rest of this down. And I'm just kind of eyeballing my edges here. Now you do want to make sure that you're using a glue that has a pretty good stick to it because this will have some friction on it from opening and closing. All right, so we've got that side. Let's move on to this one. Now, if you're better at gluing things in and getting things in place, by all means, go ahead and just glue this piece down all at once. But like I say, I did that on the first card that 
I did and I struggled so that's why I tried a different way on this one and worked out better for me all right so we have the inside put on and yes that worked much better it even folded better so I'm gonna suggest doing it this way all right now next step is to put all of our little cake pieces on here and easiest thing to do is look at the file as you are putting these on to make sure you're getting them on the correct sides because in the file I did lay them out exactly how they're going to go on so we will start out with these little pieces here and these will be your top tier and I'm actually going to just put my glue in here instead of on the piece that I'm going to be putting in simply less mess for me all right and that's going to go and if this if it's easier for you you can lay this card out flat and put them that way I just find it easier to do it this way because I have sort of that uh, barrier to help me get it lined up right there so that's why I do it this way all right so we've got our first little piece on this card goes together pretty quick after you figure out these folds for the pop-up like I say that I struggled with that a little bit all right so we've got that piece and then we'll go with our second one here now since I did um, end up breaking these pieces apart instead of just putting a score line you may want to ink the edges here just so the white doesn't show through I actually think it added a little bit of interest seeing those little white edges so that's why I left mine as is all right now like I said I have not put this one together yet once I made these changes so I'm hoping splitting these pieces um, helps it fold a little neater as you can see this one up here that I did first it uh, doesn't really like to fold down so but when it's on in an envelope it's not really gonna matter plus the people if they're gonna display it they're gonna display it open so This one. All right, we've got one side done and work on the next one. And you want to make sure that your um, your little cake layers don't overlap, but you do want to make sure that they're almost touching. And I wanted to mention also on the little balloon hearts um, I did include the little uh, shine let's see if you can pick it up on this yeah this little shine right here 
I included cuts for that in the file, but honestly, if you have a white pen, just draw them on there because those little tiny slivers of paper are really hard to work with. I just used um, Uniball Signo. This is a pigment ink. It's a gel pen. This is the broad tip and it wrote on this uh, sparkle paper with no issues. All right, our last one here. I'm curious to see if this is going to close better with these panels like this. So give this glue a second to grab hold really well, and then I'll give it a test. And this card, you don't have to just use it as a birthday card. I mean, change the sentiment. This could be for a wedding, a new baby. Basically anything where you would have cake since you have your little pop-up cake in here All right, I am going to go ahead and see how this one folds shut so That's actually a lot better than the other one if you'll see here it um, pretty well closes completely and then stays closed better than this one because if you look at this one you have the big gap here and it pretty much pops open on its own so I like this better much better all right last step is just to add your little heart balloons and I just used foam squares to give some dimension to it and you'll just want to line them up with your little strings that are drawn onto the card and this is going to be it like I said this is an easy card to put together once you figure out those folds on the inside I'm going to bring this one down And then this one, I'm going to go right on top of both. And we're done. That is it. So, completed card. And you can see the emboss, debossing on the front. And I wish the foil showed up a little better because that actually really brings out the debossing believe it or not seeing the shiny foil and then you actually get a little bit of a shine where it has had debossed so and then there is the inside when it's opened so if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below I do try to answer every question I get sometimes I do miss them because I don't get notified but I will be sharing this file on my blog as well as in the Cricut community. So you could get it from either place. And I hope you enjoy. If you do decide to make the card, I would love for you to tag me and let me see your version of it. You can find me on pretty much all social media just by searching up Tidbits and Tinkerings. And I have a Facebook page and group where if you're new to Cricut or just want to get inspiration or share your projects, join my group. We're pretty laid back. It's pretty small right now. So I would love new members. And I'm on Instagram as well as Twitter and Pinterest. So you can find me in all of those places. 
and I hope you enjoy the file and have a great day.